Hello and welcome! This is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more Prison Architect, returning to the Gangland Prison, where we've already had a death, unfortunately. Uh, alright, well, we almost have our prisoner intake, and one thing I've been kind of looking at, and I don't know if I really, uh, like, is the look of this gap in between the, uh, the paving here, so you know what, I'm just gonna come through here and finish that off. It will look a little bit better, I think. I'm trying to have some greenery there, but... I don't know. I mean, we could plant grass and see what it really would look like. I just kind of don't know if I like the way it looks. All right, so we're going to have our prisoner intake very soon. I would like to get the foundations, though, going for this stuff. So let's go ahead and... I guess I'll do it one at a time here. So this will be the kennel. And then we have this area okay now we need the doors so uh i don't think i think pr i'm pretty sure that uh the guards with dogs can open jail doors so i don't oh trees are in the way for me putting out all, a lot of the doors Put a normal jail door here. Because again, this is a guard room, so the guard's security room, whatever. Guards should be able to come in and out. And we can always expand some of these rooms later if uh, I feel it necessary. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to do that. Yeah, hold on a sec. Um, foundations. Concrete. I'm actually going to bring this down to here. Um, so we have slightly bigger security rooms and uh, armory. So just uh, redo some of the walls here. So this I'm going to go down to here. And then we've got this. We have the door. This goes down to here and then like that. Okay, with that uh, change, go ahead and grab the jail door is fine. We're going to use a solitary door for the armory, so it's a little harder to break into. And then that looks good. And another thing I should probably get on here that I have been neglecting to do... I was just trying to see if I could find that visitation booth. I, I've tried, <laughs> and I can't figure that one out. Okay, um, anyway, I do want metal detectors. I mean, maybe it's something I have to research. I've never really uh, looked into that stuff too much. And we're going to want metal detectors at pretty much any entrance... That we're going to have a lot of prisoners coming in and out. I'm actually confused at why some of this flooring didn't get done. Okay. Uh, I also need to... finish off this bit of flooring. I'll just do it to this point. And then we're grab... More metal detectors. I mean, I have plenty of money, so there's no problem for me doing this. And then we'll put another one out in here. Put some in solitary. So they're not bringing any weapons into solitary that they can hurt themselves with. And you know what? I might as well make the pathway here a little bit wider. Okay, I don't think I... Oh, yeah, I definitely have missed an area. You have the common room. You don't want any weapons in there. Speaking of the common room, I think I do want a guard deployed there. Yeah. There and while I'm at it, we need some utilities hooked up, so...
Uh, I think we might be able to manage this with small pipes, so we'll try it. This one might be a little bit of a stretch, but we'll try. It doesn't work, it doesn't work. All right. So we've got 12 minutes left. Get to speed up a little bit here. All right, they should be on the way. Right about now. There we go, big money. We do have some visitation going on. All right. All right, so staff, guard. I'm going to do 30 guards. I think that should be able to handle 48 prisoners. Okay. We've got plenty of cash flow now. So the real trick after this point is... I'm going to hire some more janitors here, so... And maybe another gardener or two. All right. We're going to need a laundry room eventually. All right, so this is finished. I'm going to go ahead and grab a concrete wall. Throw that over there. I never did get that door in, so we're going to have to throw that down. I'll put it here rather than have these doors on top of each other. And then we'll go concrete wall. Cross here. Here. And we'll just go ahead and cancel this wall. All right. So that should do nicely. Now for the laundry, how big does that thing have to be? So let's take a look. Rooms, laundry, no really particular size it needs to be. So, oh, we already have metal detectors getting people, it looks like. If I were to grab this and I were to do that, okay. Could we fit a laundry room in over here? So keeping that in mind. Planning. Walls. Actually, it'd come in like this. We made this a laundry room. Probably put the door up here. We don't have people getting too close to the security room. Go ahead and just cancel this. We already have a wall. What is the size of the ironing board? Okay, that would be able to fit in with plenty of room. I think actually this would be a nice size laundry room. Because I can fit in plenty of ironing boards, plenty of washing machines. Yeah, I think we're going to put it here. I mean, I don't know if I like building a building right next to the cell block. But... I don't think it's going to be too much of a liability either way. So I'm going to go ahead and get that built. So. Oh, um, I didn't really think about optimum space here, but I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. And then all we need is a door, which we already have one in the inventory. Go there. Okay. So we're starting to get some of the services up and running. Got the yard. Now, the main thing we don't have in a yard, though. We've got phones, so they can, you know, call people. What we can do is we can give them some weight benches, which is something we don't currently have out there. So, weight benches. And we'll put them in, like, the corners, maybe. Or, alternatively, I can put them 
over here on the edges. There we go. All right. And then we'll do the same thing over here. We're not going to have prisoners in the same yard. It looks like some of the prisoners have chosen to go to the yard as part of their free time, which they're allowed to do. But I like the fact that we're keeping the prisoners contained pretty well here. Ooh. Catching them with things. That's good. All right. So how's my deployment looking? Got a guard there. We've got guard there. Got a couple there. A couple there. One there. One there. One there. One there. Two here. Two here. Looking good. All right. So these rooms are finished. Out of curiosity with the logistics here, how many... We could only have two jobs in that cleaning. You know, I'm tempted to make the cleaning closet bigger than it is. Because right now, it's not very big sized. Uh, I wonder if these guys are up to no good here. Alright, well, we'll just have to keep an eye on them. It's funny that both of them are in the same yard area, and that's something I'd really prefer to have happen. But I am thinking about making the cleaning room bigger, so you know what I'm going to do? Grab some foundation. And... We'll do that, because it will knock out this wall as part of the construction, and we'll make a bigger cleaning closet. That way we get more prisoners uh, on jobs to do that. And then, we'll grab some concrete tiles. There we go. Alright, so far so good. There's the laundry room. Uh, I don't think we need to finish the floor any particular way, so laundry. Grab that on up. And then we need the objects. So we need washing machines. And if I remember correctly, washing machines can only go in one orientation. You can't rotate them. Huh. Maybe it's under laundry. Yeah, there it is. Laundry machine. Yeah, I can't rotate it. So we'll just do that. Do another bank here. I should probably be good. And then we need the ironing board, so... Grab those. Okay, and then we need the laundry basket. Which we can put along... Okay, that should be good for a laundry room. We'll have plenty of jobs for people once we get uh, this construction done. Yeah. All right. All right, so far so good. Uh, I just need to hook up utilities for the most part. So we just need to whoop there. Um, all of these are hooked up except for this, which all that requires is that. And we have another metal detector over here. And I think I'm just going to route power like this because we're going to need power up that way anyway, eventually. How is our power doing? Okay, so far. Uh, I am eventually going to need, ooh, and we need power over here. Another power station, which I'll probably put somewhere over here. Across from the uh, the cleaning room. Oh, we also need utilities down here. Let's just route like that. 
think we have some fighting going on. I want to take a look at that when we, we get a chance. There we go. And this was put in the wrong way. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, and I might as well make the room. So room, we need a kennel, which is re done researching, but I have to get on the armory now. So, armory. No, not that. Armory. That was an accident. Fortunately, I think I've already paid for it, so... Okay, so kennel there. We're gonna also grab... Oh, uh, yeah, there was a fight. Somebody die? Not that I can tell. We'll have 48 of 48 prisoners. And we're putting people in solitary, so I didn't get a chance to look at the fight. We've got enough guards to jump on those kind of things. Uh, I'm gonna get guard patrols going here in a second. Uh, I was doing something, I can't remember what it was. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, rooms. Security. And yeah. Okay, so for the kennel, all we need is the little dog crate things. So... Not under that. Another dog. Yeah, there is. Dog crate. And it's hard to tell which way this needs to be oriented. I guess it doesn't really particularly matter. Um, we don't need that many to start off with. We just need enough to make it legal. So we'll put in six. All right. Given the workforce, plenty to do. Oh, there, that one's done. So let's go ahead and grab room cleaning here expand that out on out and then we will go to logistics and get five jobs in there all right so this is maxed out yards and so far it looks like it's working okay oh did i put these backwards uh, I don't think I did. Well, we're sure catching them with a lot of things. So that's working perfectly. Okay. And they're working on the utilities. I could catch them in the yard, too. I could put metal detectors here. And I think I have utilities running across there, so it wouldn't be too hard to do that. But you know what? I think I'm going to let it go. Now, the next thing I need to do is I need to work on a perimeter fence. And I'd like it to come off here. Um, I just know that that would be extremely expensive. And I'm a little hesitant to do that as a result. But it's going to be necessary um, because... The problem is we have prisoners that... Uh, are going to be maybe uh, getting contraband over the fence, and we need a better fence. Problem with the perimeter wall, which is what I want, is it's 200 a, a square. So let's just see here. If I were to use the, the wall planning here and come down to here, I believe I wanted a three gap. So one, yeah, one, two, three. So one, two, three here. All right, so we go here. Okay, one, two, three. So we need to go there. One, two, three. So we're already at where we need to be. And one, two, three. Yeah, okay, good. All right, so now that I have that done, we're going to get a rough idea of what kind of, you know, how much money this is going to cost me. So if I go like this, this is a loan 
64. I'm going to assume it's probably something similar on the other side, so... 48, looks like. Alright, well that... I would have to do math, and I'm not going to do that kind of math in my head, but... Uh, 64 and 48... Yeah, okay, so, and that's 200 a square. Yeah, I don't know if I have enough money. I mean, I could do, like, one side. You know what? We'll do one side, and we'll see what kind of money that costs me. So, materials, permanent wall. So... We might be able to afford it. It's going to be expensive, but let's try. There's 23-ish thousand, it looks like, down the drain. And I have to use this now. Like, I do not get my money back if I erase this stuff, so... What's done is done now. Okay. Alright, well that cost me about a hundred grand. Maybe I should have done that before the prison was built, but we'll get them on it. We're probably going to sit on what prisoners we have for a while until that stuff gets built. Because I am concerned... Uh, and I'm the workforce is going to be busy, so I'm not going to be able to construct much else. Oh, we do need utilities, though, over here. Whoops. Okay, so just run like that, and then like that, and then there. We're also going to need water. And then the lights will be fine. Um, oh, I realize I'm knocking out the windows here. Whoops. Oh, well, you guys don't get to see outside, I guess. Sorry. Alright, so let's see what these perimeter walls look like. Alright, they're just impressive big walls with barbed wire. I might put the uh, large jail door over here when we get a chance. Are you seriously letting a prisoner go outside? Huh. Okay. Don't know how I feel about that, but... I could set up unrestricted zones. You know, I haven't done that yet. Um, I can't remember what that's under. Is that under deployment? Yeah, okay. So staff only is going to be here, here, all of this area once it gets done. Um, security is staff only. This office area, storage, staff room, all of this is staff only. This is going to be staff only. That's going to be staff only. I think that's good. For now. So. Yeah. And. Technically this area should probably be staff only too. Because I don't want anybody in this airlock area. Uh, but we'll just wait on that. Because it might not. I'm going to have to redo it anyway. As a matter of fact. I think we can dismantle this. Or set that up anyway. And utilities. Hmm. Probably going to have to do... Something like that.
All right, let's take a look at our perimeter wall as it gets built. Looking good. So far. I'm pretty happy with the progress of the prison so far. We've got our prisoners in here. Uh, we've been able to contain the violence for now. Oh, the door. Um, jail door. Rotate. There we go. And they already took that one down. So, large jail door. Rotate. Right there. There we go. Okay. I can probably also uh, limit the delivery area here now that we are not so backed up on supplies. But I definitely like the separation of the yard. Oh, 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 patrols. Um, our patrol. We're going to go through here. I might need to modify this later. Just kind of control this area for now. And we'll set two guards on it. Okay, and then we need staff. Dog handler. Um, we've got six, so we can do six. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. And another thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need uh, jail doors to allow the guard dogs access to the outer area. So I'm going to put one over here. One over here. I'm going to give like, you know, rough approximations to where these are going to go. Doesn't have to be perfect. And one over there. And this is going to be the areas that the guard dogs come in and out. Right now, we're not going to have the uh, dogs do much other than I'd like them to do a patrol uh, through the canteen area to be able to sniff out any possible contraband, maybe. And we'll put one dog on that. Uh, you know what? Maybe two. We'll put two on that for now. I'll probably take one dog off of it eventually, but for now, that's what we're going to do. All right. Remember, the wall is still going. Still finding drugs. How many max sector people do we have? Still two? This guy's still causing problems? Hmm. Let's see, character. We still don't have anything on him. Alright, so recent misconduct. Attack prisoner, attack staff, serious injury, found drugs. What about this guy? No, not the sprinkler, this guy. So... Found drugs. All right, so drugs seems to be a problem. What are you in here for? You're in here for seven years for rioting. Well, you're almost done with your prison sentence. Um, what can we do as far as grants? I haven't looked at that in a little while. All right, so we're doing three. And this one, we're going to need the two armed guards. So I need to get on that. Um, so, let's get over to, still working on it, as a matter of fact. Um, might as well start working on surveillance eventually, and then I guess you can do remote access after that, because I already paid for it. And... I don't quite have the cash for that yet, so 
I mean, we are running running low because of the perimeter fence. I'm just going to have to wait. And you know, I think this is a good point to put a cut in the video. So we're getting the present. You know, it's it's only halfway done. I mean, we have a lot of space still left, but a lot of this rest of the space is going to be cell blocks and any other services that we aren't yet uh, getting. So things like chapel services, schools, that kind of stuff, I'm going to start doing probably pretty soon here, as a matter of fact, so that we can get going on that. We don't have any unhappy prisoners. In any case, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.